Third grade math, lesson 11.3, Algebra, find unknown side lengths. It's very important that you have seen videos 11.1 and 11.2, and they're linked in this description if you haven't. We can find the unknown length of a side in a plain shape when we know its perimeter. Take a look at this shape. We know that side's 3 inches. We've got 2 inches, 4 inches, 2 inches. We don't know what this side is, but we do know the perimeter is equal to 17 inches. It gave us that. We add the given side lengths. We add 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 4 more is 9, 10, 11. So we know these equal 11, and we subtract their sum, that 11, from the given perimeter of 17. 17 minus 11 is 6, so we know that side must be 6 inches. The perimeter of a figure is its distance around all the sides of the figure. When we add the given side lengths, we can use a variable to take the place of the unknown length. So we can write 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus n for the unknown length is equal to 17, that perimeter they gave us. We add these up and get a sum of 11 plus n is going to equal that 17. We take the 17 and we subtract that sum, the 11, from it, and it's equal to 6, so we know n is equal to 6. By using the variable to take the place of the unknown length, we're doing algebra. Now I just mentioned the side in a plane shape. A plane is a flat surface that extends without end in all directions. So imagine standing in a big huge field, there's no trees, there's nothing, and you're standing there and you don't see any walls around you, and the field just seems to go on and on in all directions. So that would be a plane. A plane shape is a 2D shape. It's a two-dimensional shape. It has length and width. And a plane shape is any flat shape in a plane that is formed by curves or line segments or both. So any one of these would be a two-dimensional shape, a plane shape. And we'll learn more about these in Chapter 12. We have learned in video 11.1 and 11.2 that a rectangle has two pairs of equal length sides. We learned how to find unknown side lengths of a rectangle by using addition, subtraction, then division when we know its perimeter. So here we have a rectangle. We know its perimeter is 10 inches, but it only gave us the measure of one side, 4 inches. Well, because they have to be a pair, that means this other blue side is 4 inches. So we have 4 plus 4. That's 8 inches for our first pair. We can take the 10 inch perimeter and subtract that 8 inches from it, and that will equal 2. 10 minus 8 equals 2. That's our second pair. Because it's a pair and it's for two sides, we need to divide 2 by the two sides, and we find out that each of these sides are 1 inch. That's really confusing. Go back and watch video 11.1 and 11.2. We also learned in video 11.1 and 11.2 that if a shape has sides that are all equal in length, we can multiply the length of one side by the number of sides it has. For a square, we know that this side is 5 centimeters. Well, a square is a polygon that has four equal sides. That means that side's 5 centimeters, that side's 5 centimeters, and that side's 5 centimeters. We can do the 5 centimeters times those 4 sides. That will equal 20 centimeters for the perimeter. Here we have a regular hexagon. It has 6 sides. It gave us that this side is 2 centimeters. We can do 2 centimeters times the 6 sides, and we'll know that it is equal to 12 centimeters for the perimeter. For this square, we know the perimeter is 12 centimeters, but it didn't even give us a side length. It just says S for side. A square has four sides of equal length. We can multiply or divide by four, and we can solve this. It's got four sides times 
some number, some amount is equal to 12 centimeters. We know 4 times 3 is equal to 12, so 4 times 3 centimeters is equal to 12. We'll know that each side must be 3 centimeters. We can divide. We can have the 12 centimeters for the perimeter and divide it by the four sides. That's equal to 3 centimeters. We know S is equal to 3 centimeters. And multiplication and division are inverse operations. They are opposite operations. That's why it worked. We need to find the unknown side length. We can see here it's represented with a letter K. That's our variable. It tells us the perimeter is equal to 30 centimeters. We add 6 plus 9 plus 4 plus 7. And plus this side K, it should equal 30 centimeters. We add the 6 plus 9 plus 4 plus 7. That's equal to 26. That means 26 plus some amount k is equal to 30 centimeters. We subtract the 26 from the perimeter they gave us, 30 minus 26. We take this 30 and subtract this sum, 26, and it's equal to 4. So we know the missing amount for k is 4 centimeters. k is equal to 4 centimeters. Dave wants to put up a fence around his square garden. His garden has a perimeter of 36 meters. How long will each side of the fence be? Well, the garden is square, so it will have four equal sides. We can divide the perimeter by the four equal sides. They told us that it was a perimeter of 36 meters. 36 divided by the four sides is equal to 9 meters for each side. So we know each side is 9 meters. That's 9, that's 9. Emma is making an apron. She wants to add ribbon around the 66 inch perimeter. She wants to add ribbon around the outside. So it would look like this, but she's missing this bottom length right here. So we're going to call that A for the unknown length. That variable will be A. So what is that unknown side length A? We can add 12 plus 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus A, the unknown length, and it will equal the 66 inch perimeter. We find the sum for the given numbers we do know and we get a 46. That means 46 plus A is equal to 66. We take the 66 inch perimeter and subtract the amount we do know, the 46. 66 minus 46 is equal to 20. That means A is equal to 20 inches. Take a look at this picture of the house. Here's a house and it's going to have a fence around it. So Chris will use 130 feet of fence material to put a fence around his backyard. Now notice there's no fence here where the house is. There's 10 feet of fence here, 10 feet of fence here, 30 feet here, and 30 feet here, but we don't know what this side length is. So what is the length of the unknown side B? We add the 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 30 plus that variable B, and it will equal 130, the amount of fence material that he'll need to use. We total up the given amounts we do know, and we get 80. That means 80 plus B will equal 130. Now, we subtract this 80 from the amount 130. 130 minus 80 is equal to 50. That means 50 is left. That's the difference. B must be equal to 50 feet. So a variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. We can use any letter of the alphabet. They just don't usually use the letter I or the letter O because they could be confused with a 1 or a 0. Chris has 44 feet of fence material to make a rectangular dog run for his dog Dingo. One side of the run will be six feet long. Circle yes or no 
to choose what the length of another side will be. So we have 5 feet, 7 feet, 10, 16, 20. We have to circle yes or no if those will fit. So we can draw a quick picture to help us. We know it's a rectangle and one side is 6 feet. And we can use a rectangle's two pairs of equal length to help us. If one side is 6 feet, the other side of the pair would be 6. And 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. We add the sides we know. We also know that he's got 44 feet of fence material. We can do 44 minus the 12, and that will be equal to 32. We subtract the sum, that 12, from the 44. So now we have 32. We divide this 32 by the other two sides, this side and this side. And 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. So we know that another side length can be 16. We look, yes, 16 is a yes. That means we have a side length of 6 feet, another side length of 6 feet, and a 16 and a 16. So can 5 feet be one of the other sides? No. If you said no, you're right. Can 7 feet be one of the other lengths? No, it's a rectangle, and we've only got 6 feet and 16 feet for our answers. So if you said no, you're right. So because we know the side lengths are either 6 feet or 16 feet, we also know that 10 feet is a no and 20 feet is a no. We have a pair of 6-foot lengths and a pair of 16-foot lengths. So now you should understand how to find unknown side lengths and the perimeter of a figure or a plane shape. That's the outside measure of a figure going around the outside. We're going to talk about area next in 11.4. That's the inside space. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.